so this is a seven variable system a b c d e f g so we have to implement this expression using nand gates only so first i will you can see that this one reduces to a sum of product expression like this plus a e f plus a b plus g we can't minimize anything we are not allowed to so we will just implement the whole thing so what i will do is we know that this one is a so i plan to apply de morgan's theorem so i will put two bars on top of the whole thing and this is a b d e plus a e f plus a b and plus g so the top bar remains there with the bottom bar i will just use the de morgan's theorem for this one so it will become a b c here the or becomes and a b d e and the bar comes on each of it each of the terms so like that now this one is an and an gate this is an and gate this is an and gate everything is an and gate so i will just draw the circuitry four input so this is a b c here a b d e here so they are coming here and then a e f a e f here going there then a b here so we can see the g is alone by itself so this is an inverter but if we look at the truth table of a NAND gate, it becomes something like this. So, so when the inputs are tied together, if I tie two inputs together, this is the input and this is the input. So we can see that it can act as an inverter. So that's what we will do because we are allowed to use only NAND gates. So here G will be like that, tied together the inputs. So we have five outputs so what we can do is this one is a four input NAND gate realistically the four input NAND gate is there and then again using a two input NAND gate we can try it out if theoretically we are allowed to use a five input NAND gate we can do that but otherwise this is a realistic circuit using NAND gate so we have one IC that will be of consisting of three input NAND gates and then another IC consisting of two input NAND gates and then one IC consisting of one four input NAND gates four input NAND gates so one IC 16 pin IC will have two four input NAND gates so one IC there there one IC will do for this one because uh, three input NAND gates uh, there in one IC there are three input NAND uh, three of three input NAND gates and then there is also two input NAND gates there are four of them in one IC Two input NAND gates, uh, but we will need need only three. So three ICs will do for the whole implementation and using only NAND gates. So that way, what's happening here is we are using only one type of IC. While here, if we wanted to implement this one, we would need OR gate and AND gate uh, and gate as well. So yeah. These ICs are actually 14 pin ICs uh, from 7 for series and we can find which which one is 2 input NAND gate, uh, 3 input NAND gate or 4 input NAND gate just by just googling and then we can find the data sheet where we can find the pin diagrams which is input, which is output, which is ground, which is power supply. So basically that's very simple to find that and yeah and they are actually 14 uh, input, uh, 14 pin ICs. I by mistake say it's 16, it's 14 pin ICs. But anyway, this video is about uh, implementing a stop expression using NAND gates only, not about the implementation using an IC or with the actual pin diagram. So, 